Well, we're back down the beach pumping lugworm. Uh, I'm going to basically try and show you the way I'm doing it now. <clears throat> it's changed a little bit. I wouldn't say it's changed a hell of a lot. I'm pump I've been pumping probably around an hour now. I'm not getting many worm. I'm really struggling today. I've got no idea why, but there just don't seem to be many casts. Um, what I've done this time, mounted a camera on the pump itself to try and give you an idea of how far away from the cast I'm pumping. But yeah, I've got probably five worms so far. I'm hoping once this tide turns, the worms will start to cast a lot quicker. That's what seems to happen. You'll go to a beach, there's not many casts, and then you feel a bit disheartened. Once that tide turns, they start popping up absolutely everywhere. The wind's coming off my back that way, so I'm going to try and be facing this way when I record, because I've got the mic here. I want to try and keep the wind noise off here. But yeah, we'll get on with pumping now, bring you along, try and show you... We'll show you a few tips and tricks, if I can get the worms myself. But I, like I said, I am struggling. I'll show you how to lube the pump. This is the DS bait pump. Um, you've seen it on the channel a few times, probably. I've rebuilt it recently with a new yellow washers. So that's a, today's a test for those washers. I'm just hoping we can find the caster pump. There's just not many about at all. This area now I'm standing in, I can see one over here. And that's it. I can't see any more casts. So fingers crossed these start casting. <laughs> Let's get on with it. What I'm going to do here is show you how to lube the pump up. Bit of green, fairy liquid. You don't want none of this scented stuff. You've got the side handle pipe there. Literally, just want a little bit in there. Hopefully you can see that. That's enough. Get this back in the bucket. Then, just cycle the pump. Get some liquid on that new seal. And that'll be enough. We've got a couple of casts in this area, so I'm going to give it a go. See if we can get anything out of these. I'm roughly two, three inches away from the cast. Um, keeping it fairly straight, as you can see. Some people come in at this angle. I did used to do that. I didn't do so well. Um, Scott Harris, West Wales Fishing. He pumps it quite close and pretty vertical like this. But what I find, back a little bit, a slight angle. And going about that far three to four inches and just change the depth and try it. Nothing out of that one. Um, it's just, there's just not many casts at all. I don't know why. Just pulled out a little rag out of that one. Little ragworm. Yeah, it's very frustrating when you can't see many casts. But yeah, I'm about three inches away from the hole. That sort of angle. Don't go too deep. And that's it. I hit a stone with this one. One here. As you can see, I suck the cast back in that hole. That's what you want to do. You know you're in the channel then. You don't always get the worm just like that. But I was definitely in the channel. So we just keep walking. We'll keep having a look. And just see what we can find basically. Just like that. <clears throat> I don't, you can't see me on the camera, I don't think, but yeah, there we go, look at that. That's a nice, proper big black lug. To gut them, as you know, I normally save the guts, but at the moment, I'm not gonna bother. Squeeze your little finger first and roll your fingers up here. As you can see, there's the guts hanging out. Pop them off. There you go, nice gutted black lug. You can't beat that, wicked bait. These I'm collecting from a winter bait, so. We've got another cast over here. I'm going to give that a go. And some of the casts you do, like this one here, it's not really a proper cast, but you'll still get wor nice worms out of them. Well, you can do. But this is ca this cast is that's what you want to find. As you can see, sucked in again. Look at that for a worm. Absolutely huge black lug. That's. That's well over 12 inches, that lug there. I don't know if you can see from all the way over here. That's a proper worm. As you can see, I'm around three to four inches from that cast, pumping pretty straight. Oh, there's some little starfish in front of us. I'll try and show you those on the camera. There you go, gut it, drop the guts. We've got water here, so we can give it a wash. And there we go, prime black lug. I'm not 100% what this is called. I think it might be a 
brittle star. I'm not sure though, but yeah, nice little starfish there, look. Well, as you can see there, look, that's a hell of a worm. That's easily over 12 inches long, stretched out. So closer to the water edge is better. It's just finding the casts. Like I'm saying, it's just really difficult today. I've got no idea why, but I'm happy you am seeing this because this is the way it goes. People see people like me with a bucket full of worms and think I'll never do that. I'm the same as you, I'm no different. It's just today it's looking like it's not gonna be a great day. It's just one of those things. But we'll keep, keep, we'll keep pumping, we'll keep looking and hopefully we get a bucket full. Nice, huge worm there. That's a big one. Just wish we was finding more. It's gonna be one of them sessions, I think. We're not gonna hit too many. We'll keep pumping, we'll keep trying. We won't give in. Just missing way too many on the casts. Still pumping away, trying to get these worms. <coughs> now look at that, that's a nice one. Nice big worm. If you'd like to buy a DS bait pump, if you go in the description below, I'll put all the details down there to do with the pump. Um, there's a few little internal parts about a printed washer. I need to double check about it, but that will also be in the description. I think. Um, I think he changed it to a black one, maybe it was, and he's reverted back to the grey, the original, because it seems a lot stronger. We're going to keep walking now, keep pumping worms. It's not going to be a massive video, because the session's not really gone great, to be fair. Um, it's just the way it goes. I don't know if you can tell, but tide's screaming in, so it's covering the lug now. So I'm going to try and get on with it, get a few pumped to make my trip worthwhile. Hopefully the video helped you out, it's not going to be too long but showing you the way I've pumped it, showing the way you lube the pump. There is videos on the channel for rebuilding the pump. So let's crack on anyway, try and get a few more worm. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. See you soon.